Our MD3 stepper motor driver can drive size 14 to 42 stepper motors from full stepping up to 256 micro steps per step. In this video, we're going to show you how to configure the MD3 using our free MD3 demo software. We've already connected everything to streamline this tutorial, but if you want to learn more about how to connect a stepper motor and encoder to the MD3, we've included a link to the wiring diagram in the video description. To connect the MD3 to your Windows PC, you're going to need our CA-MD3 cable. One end connects into the P1 connector on the MD3, and the other end connects to a USB port on your computer. The first step is to download the software. You can find that in the support tab on our website, or there's also a link in the video description below. After you download and install the software, you'll notice that there are two applications, MD3 Setup and MD3 Demo. The MD3 Setup application makes the MD3 function like our discontinued MD2S. We're going to ignore that for now and look at the MD3 Demo software. Use this pull-down to select the COM port that the CA-MD3 is connected to, and then click the Connect button. Now you'll notice that there are five tabs to control the device here. The Motion Control tab gives you control over speed, acceleration, number of steps to move, power settings, and encoder configurations. There are also quick motion commands we programmed into the software. You can configure how you want the J2 pins to work on the MD3 here as well. This is probably a good time to mention, do not connect or disconnect the motor leads when the MD3 is powered. Make sure that all connections are made and the J3 is plugged in before applying the main power. Do not unplug the J3 connector when the drive is powered. Failure to do so may damage the drive. If you tab over to this Communications tab, here you can select the baud rate, change the communication protocols, whatever you might need to integrate this into your system. Any changes you make will modify the internal RAM registers of the MD3 and take effect immediately, but they will not be saved to non-volatile EEPROM on the MD3 until the Save Configuration to EEPROM button is pressed. If the current configuration is not wanted, the unit can be power cycled to reload the previous settings from EEPROM, or you can click the Reset Device button on the Maintenance tab. This tab is also where you can check for firmware updates and install them onto the device. That's the basics of how to use our MD3 demo software. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching US Digital Encoder Support. Please subscribe to our channel for product updates, tutorials, and FAQs. If you need help, please reach out in the comments below or by visiting usdigital.com slash support. If you found us here, check out our other YouTube channel at youtube.com slash usdigital.